Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer Selenium interview question 76. That is, what is cucumber? So let's get started. So what is cucumber? Cucumber is a framework or tool which supports the implementation of BDD, that is behavior driven development in the projects. So what is cucumber guys? Let me write down here, what is cucumber? Cucumber is nothing but, you can call that as a, either a framework similar to test change or you can call it as a tool. Some people will call the cucumber as a tool. So what's the use of this cucumber? Using this uh, cucumber framework or tool, okay, uh, we can implement BDD in the projects, okay? Using this cucumber framework or tool, which uh, supports the implementation of, okay, which supports the implementation of BDD. What does BDD stands for? Behavior driven development. Okay. This supports the implementation of BDD, that is behavior driven development in the projects. It may be development projects or it can be automation projects. Okay. So, is this particular cucumber, which is a tool or a framework? Okay. It is specially designed for, you know, uh, I generally use in Java, guys. Okay. In Java projects, we generally use this uh, Cucumber as a tool for implementing this BDD, that is behavior driven development. Okay. But what about other programming languages like C sharp.net and all? We have other tools, guys. Okay. So even though we can use Cucumber in C sharp.net, but still uh, there is other uh, tool for uh, supporting the implementation of BDD in the uh, C sharp.net uh, programming language uh, following projects. That is like uh, we have something like specflow there. Okay, in csharp.net projects, we have other tools like specflow, which is more better than Cucumber in case of csharp.net. But in, in case of Java projects, we give highest priority to this Cucumber tool, guys. Okay, and the Cucumber tool is also supporting other programming lang languages, but still there are other uh, tools, BDT tools like specflow, etc., which are specially for csharp.net and all. So in case of csharp.net, we generally go with specflow. In case of Java, we'll go with this Cucumber tool. So this is what is a Cucumber, guys. It's a framework or tool which supports the implementation of BDD in the projects. Now, let me practically show you uh, what is this Cucumber and all, okay? So we can install this Cucumber as a plugin in Eclipse IDE, guys, okay? If you see this Eclipse uh, IDE here, okay, we have created some feature files. As you can see, there are some sample feature files here, login.feature file, register.feature file, search.feature file. And uh, if you don't have this Cucumber plugin installed in this Eclipse IDE, these feature files will not be recognized, okay? So you'll get some error saying that app is not working or app is not available kind of error you'll get. So, and uh, you will not get this Cucumber icon here. Besides this feature files, you're getting some Cucumber icon, which is only possible because you have installed this Cucumber Eclipse ID plugin. Okay, so Cucumber is nothing but a framework or tool, guys, which supports the implementation of BDD in projects. So it comes in the form of Eclipse ID plugin, that is Cucumber Eclipse ID plugin. Okay, once you install here, you'll be able to, this feature files will be recognized and you can work with the uh, Cucumber. We can implement the BDD in the projects. So, and uh, it also comes in the form of a library, guys, not only the Eclipse ID plugin, but also in this project, in order to use this Cucumber, it also comes in a form of library. Only by installing the Eclipse, uh, Cucumber Eclipse ID plugin is not enough. That plugin will help us in running this uh, uh, feature files and also uh, for recognizing this feature files. But apart from that, we have to use the libraries, uh, some predefined uh, classes and all those stuff from the Cucumber, Cucumber library. For that, we'll go to the pom.xml file of this uh, project. And here, we'll add these libraries in the form of Cucumber. Guys, you see these dependencies are from Cucumber. So here you see Cucumber Java is there, and then we have Cucumber JUnit and Cucumber Core. All these are Cucumber libraries, guys, that we need to add to the project. So this Cucumber is a tool or framework which uh, comes in multiple formats uh, where we have to use all the formats, like we have to install in the form of a plugin in Eclipse IDE because it doesn't come by default in Eclipse IDE. Uh, so for the Eclipse IDE projects to support Cucumber, we need that plugin. And second thing is that in order to use the library of this Cucumber, we need to add this kind of dependency tags in the of Cucumber in the palm.xml files. So that Cucumber related uh, files, uh, I mean, library will be added to this project automatically and will be downloaded automatically and configured automatically, guys. So that's, uh, that's what is Cucumber is all about in a theoretical way and practical way. So hope guys you understood uh, what exactly is Cucumber in this session. 
So hoping that you will be able to answer this question if it is asked in the interviews for you. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye.